Taking a look at what's on TBD, what's in a name? For a small town in central Virginia, the name Cuckoo gets a few chuckles from visitors. But the historic village was named after a tavern that played a role in the Revolutionary War. Dr. Jane Pendleton Wooten and Dr. Percy Wooten own the house that was built on the site of the legendary Cuckoo Tavern. And as TBD segment producer Whitney Bright shows us, for them, Cuckoo is home. Cuckoo is a small village located in the Piedmont area of Virginia. It is right between Richmond and Charlottesville. You might like to know how Cuckoo got its name. Before the Revolutionary War, there was a tavern here, and it was named Cuckoo Tavern. <laughs> Won't you Welcome come in? <laughs> Won't you come in? <laughs> and of course, according to our Virginia historians, the English named their taverns for birds. So in 1781, uh, the British had taken Richmond, which was the capital of the Commonwealth of Virginia. It was during this Revolutionary War that an American patriot by the name of Jack Jewett was here and he overheard Lord Cornwallis and his Green Dragoons plotting to ride on to Charlottesville and to capture Thomas Jefferson, who was the governor of Virginia at the time. So he rode all night to warn Jefferson and the General Assembly that the British truly were coming. But it saved the cause of the War of Independence because if we'd lost Thomas Jefferson, and he would have been hanged for treason, it would have been a deadly blow to the effort. So anyhow, as the years went by, this place has stayed in the family, and the name just evolved to Cuckoo. Most people are interested in where in the world they get that name, and I love to tell them and that it's not the crazy people that lived here. It was <laughs> It's not one, one flew over the cuckoo's nest. <laughs> so I said, no, it's not the crazy people. It was the cuckoo clock and the cuckoo tavern. <laughs> Joining us on The Trending Show to talk more about cuckoo is TBD segment producer Whitney Bright. She was the person behind the camera that did the interviews. Great story. Where is cuckoo from here? So it's just about two hours away uh, from D.C. on 95, uh, just between situated right between uh, Richmond and Charlottesville. I had no idea, and I've lived here for a long time. I think people should probably go down there and explore it for themselves. It, it's fun to these little uh, nooks, these little corners of the world. This Dr. Uh, Wooten, tell me more about her. Well, she's actually um, she's from a pretty historical family. They, she's the seventh generation physician in her family, um, and her family has also owned the. Uh, the house there in Cuckoo for uh, for seven generations as well. And the historical Paul Revere ride and all of that, that uh, I had no idea. Right, right. Jack, uh, Jack Jewett it was like another Paul Revere. He truly said, you know, the British are coming, Mr. Jefferson, you need to get out of here, and, and warned him in time uh, so that he wouldn't be captured. So it's it's a pretty neat, uh, pretty neat story that he saved Thomas Jefferson. Does the town get much traffic, and how big is that area? It doesn't. It's very rural, uh, very um, out of the way, but sort of a little hamlet. You know, if, if you just go off the beaten path a little bit, you'll find uh, find some really neat folks. What surprised you the most after your trip there? Um, I guess what surprised me the most is uh, how sort of idyllic it is. It's, you know, not too far away from here, but it's uh, got really pretty countryside and just a really neat house. Whitney Bright, always good to have you on the program. You're the person behind the camera, and I think you, you brought it together very well for us. Thank you. Thanks Thank for being you. on the Trending Show. Thanks.